Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Les Grumbles, and welcome to episode four of Viva Las Vegas Story. A lot has happened since episode three. In particular, I came down with a nasty cold and chest infection, the ends of which I'm only now getting past some two weeks later. Cough, cough. Why bring this up? Well, during the time between episodes, I spent a few hours here and there adding in some roads and working on milestones within phase three, all the while not well enough to really do any recordings, you know? So I figured I'd start today with a little bit of context information and present some of the progress in a more cinematic style. So here goes, and please let me know in the comments whether you like the additional cinematic content. Cue intro sequence and I'll see you in a few minutes for a little bit more traditional gameplay. Good vibes, everybody.
Alrighty. We've got coffee. We've refueled our truck, Bumblebee. Let's go to the fuel refinery area and have a look at what we might get done with these packages uh, that we've unlocked as a milestone. Uh, and see if we can't start packaging up some fuel. But goodness knows we need to get something a little bit more refined, shall we say, that we can enter into our, our uh, fix-it sink program because I'd like to unlock a bunch of things and try and build a, a sort of an oil rig look over there. The refinery is very, very simple. I've just put it in as a quick and dirty as it were. Get the job done, move on. So I could feel, focus on a bit more building work over here. And uh, yeah, what with the cold and everything, I haven't quite managed to uh, get a lot of the things done that I wanted. Yeah, let's see if we can't uh, get a little bit more movement going. We've got uh, a new concrete factory. We can go and visit that. Uh, pick up some more materials while we're over there. Hopefully that's chugging away nicely. And yeah, we've got this new road that we led out here towards the refinery area. Now, I don't quite recall because it was uh, a good week ago uh, and uh, with the cold and everything. Uh, how things are all lined up over here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly cramped and basic, so we're going to have to see. Oh, excuse I, pardon I. Oh, my bad. Yeah, kind of, kind of a, kind of a big vehicle this one, so uh, a little bit more awkward uh, doing just dodge. <laughs> all right, there's Bert. Uh, he's he's a big enough unit, so we will try not to hit. But there, Bert. Nice to see you. Some more hogs down here. Oh, look, there's another Mercosphere. Mm -hmm -hmm. And here we are at the uh, oil refinery area. Now, there's lots and lots of oil. We haven't tapped into that much of it yet. So plenty of opportunity. But I think a lot of them are impures. Uh, and what? I don't even remember what we tapped into, whether it was a normal. Let's see. 120. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a normal. But yeah, this is uh, welcome to oil refinery. Uh, oil processing area one. We have a sink here as well because uh, I just I need tickets, man. I need tickets. Uh, we've got ourselves into some fuel power generation, which I have to say is fantastic. Uh, easy money. So 250 megawatts per. We've got two of those down, and we've got a total of about 1,100, I think, at the moment. If everything down at the coal plant is working smoothly, there's a pole, uh, power pole when you need one. There we go. Yeah, there you go. 1100, stable production. Beautiful. That's not much, but, uh, you know, we nearly doubled what we had. We've got all these uh, f fluid fluid bubbles, industrial one there, and uh, every once in a while I've got to flush some of this stuff out. i got four of these little baby ones here before the other one was ready. <coughs> uh, every once in a while there's going to be a little break while I uh, have a coughing fit. Um, but yeah, look at this, all this rubber and plastic production, fantastic. So we're going to have to set up a packaging area. Um, and, and the next massive milestone is industrial manufacturing, which we see we're only 200 motors away from unlocking, which I think we'd be able to cover that with our current stores. Um, but before I go into that and give myself yet another factory to build, um, we need to do something down here and come up with a little design that's um, maybe not so cheap as chips. I just wanted to get the power slapped in uh, last week uh, while I was unwell to at least make a little bit of progress. And, you know, to be honest, I think uh, for a lot of people looking at these, you've probably seen a, a power plant put in. You've probably seen the, you know, well, probably a lot of the game. So I figured, well, I don't think it's going to be that exciting to see me slapping in a couple of uh, fuel generators. Let me know if I'm wrong. On that one. All right, we've got to find a spot for some packaging around here and see if we can't make something uh, kind of fancy rather than uh, cheap as chips. All right, back soon. Huzzah! All right, I've spent a little bit of time uh, putting together the packaging area and also a truck stop since we're reliant quite heavily on uh, trucks and tractors at the moment for funsies. Uh, let's go and visit it, shall we? Also, we've got a special, special uh, surprise. 
uh, I've created this uh, cheeky little uh, stop station. I didn't, uh, didn't go too crazy uh, given the time, but uh, here we go. Package fuel coming in over here. Nice. It's also, it's called the slick stop. Interesting. What's that all about? In here, just uh, thrown this one in, fed from below. So we've got a nice little uh, logistics layer, as it were. As you can see, loads of uh, loads of the good stuff coming in. Beautiful. And uh, out this way, plenty of space for expansion, etc. Uh, given the thing a lick of paint, I've gone with this uh, nice hot dog arrangement for most of the uh, oil refinement process. Uh, we've got the company colors here for Viva Las Vegas. Uh, the power uh, construction company uh, colors over there. I don't know why I like to keep that uh, different. I haven't painted everything up here, as you'll see. Most of the railings have got the uh, petroleum colors. However, the uh, railings that are at an angle uh, on all of these slopes like that uh, are unpaintable, seemingly. So uh, there's that. Uh, here we've got two packages taking fuel in from below on the logistics layer. Uh, we've got uh, two manufacturers also making use of the logistics layer. Uh, maybe some stuff here to paint up as well. Um, and yeah, if we go along here, there's a nice little lettery letter. But of course now, oh, we've got, uh, oh, that literally went horribly wrong. Uh, we've got our jet fuel now. So not jet fuel, what's it called? Uh, packaged fuel. Uh, I went with the honeycomb windows to uh, sort of box this one in. Uh, here you can see some of the workings are uh, useful if you need to ever do maintenance, for example. And, uh, oh, there you go. I don't know why we were we were sprinting everywhere there. Yeah, that's probably part of my, my mistake there. Um, but yeah, lovely little sandwich layer going on over here. Uh, at the back, you can see, if we come on over here, you can see the pipe work. Pretty neat, pretty neat and tidy, by my standards at least. Uh, and then, yeah, here the sandwich layer continues. Uh, we're using these underslung conveyor belts. I'm quite a fan of those, even though it leans a little bit into uh, Spaghetti Reno. That goes over to that side underneath there and feeds up into the underbelly. Back round into the shop. Marvellous. But wait, Grumbles, why is it called Slick Stop? Well... Guess who decided to drop by while we were uh, doing all of this? We got an inquisitive little uh, little doggo. Also, we've got overflow. We've got st storage for rubber and plastic here. Uh, Rejiggled a little bit. Uh, and we've got a lovely overflow smart uh, splitter arrangement uh, so that we can go into the, uh, into the sink. And look! Hello! Who are you? Oh, you're slick. Oh, you brought me some staters. Oh, good doggo. Yeah. So we got a little visit from uh, from Slick here. So I've put him in his own little uh, he's got his own little room here to come visit. Feed at your own risk. There you go. And uh, yeah, yeah, lovely little pet. Uh, actually, let's give him some berries while we're here, shall we? We'd like some berries, little one. Let's give you a couple of berries. Here we go. Boop. If I get out of the way, uh, he. There you go. Chomp it away. Happy as Larry. Aren't you slick? Oh, look at that stuff in his face. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Little uh, packaging area set up on the cheap, on the down low. Unpainted rails up there. What's going on? Is that a double rail? Oh, it's a rail within a rail. That's why I've missed it. All right. Yeah. And from here, look, you can see there goes all the, uh, the lovely packaged fuel. Wonderful feeding into our little slick stop here marvelous so nothing uh amazing but uh it takes a little while for for me with my uh inexperience at the game to put these things together so uh had a lot of fun putting this one up let's go all that remains now is to do a nice little uh cinematic flyby for you folks so let's get that done i've also just <laughs> realized i've got a paint all of these power lines. <laughs> There's a job for next week. All right. Good vibes. I hope you've enjoyed this one and the cinematics. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to tickle the old likes and subscribes, folks. Appreciate it. Good vibes.